How many of you have ever gotten lost somewhere? Driving, walking, visiting somewhere. Yeah, everybody's kind of gotten lost. Now, let me ask you this. How many of you have known how to get to a specific place, but you really only know one way to get there? And if you ever turned the wrong way or you had to take a detour, all of a sudden you were completely lost. Yep, yep, I know I, I've been in that position too. The, the most extreme example I have of that for me is when I, I had gone to South Sudan and had stayed there for a month. I was helping Shannon work on an on a audio project for some storytelling stuff and was helping him finish that up. But while I was there, I had the opportunity to one, learn how to drive a manual transmission truck, but I learned how to do it left-handed in the mud. And that was interesting and somehow managed to do it. Um, I don't know if I could still do it, but managed to do it and it was a lot of fun. But the last week or two, the last two weeks of the trip, I actually stayed at a different house than where Shannon and Carrie lived because of people we had working and people they had staying there. I needed to stay somewhere else so that they could accommodate these other guests that aren't normally there. And so I had to drive back and forth between these two houses. Now, if you look at these two locations on a map, it's really simple to get there. You come out of the Lewis's compound, you turn right, you go straight for about a mile, and you turn left, and the house is right there. It's very easy to see, except when it gets so dark, you can't see 10 feet in front of you, the rain has come and washed away the trail. And now it's very difficult to get there. <laughs> Um, and so this happened one night. Normally I would try and leave before it got dark so that I could see where I was going. But this particular night I ended up, I got caught at the house visiting and working and doing stuff a little later than I intended to. And so I had to drive home at night. And all of the landmarks I would normally look to to try and figure out where I am were no longer there. I couldn't see them. I couldn't see the tire marks on the road. I couldn't see where I was going. And I was not familiar enough with that path and with that road to, to know it like I do other places. And so there was one point where I actually had to stop the truck and get out with a flashlight to try and find where I was. <laughs> now granted, this is only, it's only a mile down the road, but when you can only drive like 10 to 15 miles an hour in the bush, and have to worry about people walking out of nowhere in front of you and all this kind of stuff, it, it takes a little bit longer than it would here. And so I managed to find, okay, this is the road, this is where I need to go. Got back in the truck and managed to get there without having to call Shannon and without having to worry about that and finally got home so I could go to bed. <laughs> but all that to say, I, I, needed to know, I needed to know the path. I needed to know the course that I was on and I needed to be able to stay on that course. And I recognized what, when I got lost, the thing is, is that I was able to recognize that I was no longer on the path. And so tonight, what, we, what I want to look at is knowing how to recognize and being able to be familiar enough to be able to stay on that path, to keep our path right, to keep it pure, and to keep it straight. And so the point is, is that if we don't know the way, uh, it's very easy to get lost. And tonight, we're going to look at what we can do so that we don't get lost in this life.